U.S. spy chief James Clapper has strongly defended the government's surveillance programs after revelations of phone records being collected and Internet servers being tapped. He said disclosure of a secret court document on phone record collection threatened irreversible harm. ITV's Abdurrahman Laili has more. The debate over whether the United States government is violating its citizens' privacy rights and civil liberties while trying to protect them from various national security threats escalated dramatically amid reports that authorities have collected data on millions of phone users and tapped into servers of nine internet companies. Technology companies that are apparently part of the PRISM program include Microsoft, Yahoo, Google, Facebook, Talk, AOL or America Online, Skype, YouTube and Apple. In statements released late yesterday, Google, Apple, Yahoo and Facebook denied that the government had direct access to their central servers. The statement from Google mentioned that Google cares deeply about the security of our users' data. We disclose user data to government in accordance with the law and we review all such requests carefully. From time to time, people allege that we have created a government backdoor into our systems, but Google does not have a backdoor for the government to access private user data. Facebook's chief security officer, Joe Sullivan, reassured users saying, protecting the privacy of our users and their data is a top priority for Facebook. We do not provide any government organization with direct access to Facebook servers. James Clapper, the director of national intelligence in the United States, disputed the notion that the U.S. government agents could use such data without a specific investigative purpose in mind. He further said the program does not allow the government to listen in on anyone's phone calls, adding that the unauthorized disclosure of information about this important and entirely legal program is reprehensible and risks important protections for the security of Americans. Senator Diane Feinstein a California Democrat who heads the Senate Intelligence Committee says it's called Protecting America. A senior administration official emphasized that although the activities of people in the United States are included in the data being amassed by the government, the surveillance programs may target for investigation only non-Americans living outside the country. A diverse group of Republicans and Democrats, some who knew about the program and its scope, others who apparently knew nothing blasted the gathering of such a huge database of details about Americans' phone habits as an unwarranted intrusion, with Senator Bernie Sanders, a liberal independent from Vermont, commenting, the United States should not be accumulating phone records on tens of millions of innocent Americans. This is not what democracy is about. This is not what freedom is about. For ITV News, Abdurrahman Laili reporting.